Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for contracting, code reviews, and on-site training. Now, last week we did a really basic introduction to providing your own comparator to the associative containers in the standard library. And if you are a fan of C++ Weekly at all, you are probably wondering, hey, Jason really likes lambdas, why didn't he use a lambda there? So, why didn't I use a lambda? Let's dig into that. I mean, a lambda really makes a lot of sense. If we have this one particular set for this particular purpose, and we just want to make a unique collection of things based on some key as our paren operator and our custom comparator here on lines 10 through 15 did for us, this seems like the perfect example for a lambda. This is a one-use thing. So let's go ahead and throw a lambda in here. So we're going to do our lambda and, you know, it needs to look exactly like this function right here, in fact. So we provide our lambda, and, you know, it's a little bit hard to read, and this doesn't make sense because, you know, a lambda, let's take away that const, that can't work. And we would really like this to work, but we get more compiler errors, and I'm going to leave it something like that with some hope of making it readable. So we get this error, lambda expression in template argument. So the standard currently does not allow us to put a lambda inside a template argument. But we've got two problems. We're first of all trying to pass a value where a type is expected. So if you know anything about C++11 and decal type, you might think, well, that's fine. I'll just throw decal type in here. But we still get the same error, that a lambda expression is used in an unevaluated context. Now, not the exact same error, very similar error. Now we're getting the error related to the type instead of the value. And the standard just doesn't let us do this. And I believe there are people working on changes coming maybe in 20, C20 that would allow us to do this. But fine. We don't need to put the decal type in the template parameter list. Let's just go ahead and move it out here. We know this is what our lambda needs to look like. And this is our very simple comparison. And so to get the type of the lambda, because the type is unknowable at this point, because that's in the standard, there's no way to know the type of a lambda. But we can use decal type to get back that type information. So cool. We'll do that. But the error has now moved again. So now we're getting this. A lambda closure type has a default, a deleted default constructor. So to really drive home what this means, if I wanted to make my own lambda of this type, I cannot do this. Uh, well, I can't do this for two reasons. I have two types declared. I can't say create me an object of type lambda because we've got this again deleted default constructor. I can make a copy of it, but at that point I don't need the auto anymore excuse me, I don't need the decal type anymore, I can use an auto. So we're back to the same place. We have the problem that we cannot create our set because it has a type that does not have a default constructor, so there's no way for the set, when it constructs itself, to make a copy of our lambda comparator in here. But if we dig into the definition of standard set, we can actually see that there is versions of the set constructor that takes a comparator object and an allocator. Allocator is not the conversation for today though. So now if we really want to go about doing things this way, we can provide our set with the copy of the lambda that we want. And finally, this works. And it's something. Um, it seems to be awfully messy, in my opinion. But it is a way to use a lambda instead of using a custom-defined structure here. 
Now we can take it one step further and use the automatic template type deduction that is part of C++17, which expects one version of the constructor, expects your comparator followed by the initializer list of things that you want to construct in here. So we could do this. That is, I have the order of parameters backward here. And now using C++17's class template type deduction, we can get just a little bit cleaner here. And in fact, we should be able to move this entire lambda into the body of the constructor. And this works, and we can get rid of this. So again, this is something, but it does leave something to be desired still, because we had to provide at least one object to the set. And this is using standard initializer list, which I am not entirely a fan of because it introduces um, a potentially a lot of overhead in the construction of standard containers. And if you want more information on that, you should watch my practical C++17 talk from CppCon, which I will attempt to put a link to at the bottom here when I edit this. So this is what it takes currently to use a lambda in, um, as your comparator for a standard container. And if you know of a cleaner, easier way to do this, please uh, leave me a comment, post a link to Compiler Explorer or something, and we can explore other avenues. But um, hopefully we'll get something in future version of C++ that makes us all a little bit cleaner. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.